Welcome back to your program, Identities Umshlova, where today we're talking about the issues of girl child, this October being uh, the month of the girl child. And in the studio, I'm, I'm joined by Monica Tunodzai from Higher Life and Reverend Yanete from ZNCWC. Um, Monica, we spoke about, um, we you work from Higher Life and it's, it's, an, it's, an, it's a private foundation in a country where we've got a new president, new priorities, who are saying we want to take the country forward, what is the word that you'd give to other companies pertaining investing in local initiatives? Um, like I had pointed out earlier that we have a lot of challenges within our communities and it's only when we take ownership of the challenges that we're facing as a right. nation will we be able to move forward. And I think it's a point in time where we should not look outside of our circumference of influence mm to say we'll look for the other person to meet the challenge and the need that we have in our community. It's time that we raise up even as corporates and even as individuals to take ownership of the challenges that we are facing and look at the people who've gone forth before and try mm. to find the models that are sustainable that you can implement within the respective area that you want to address the challenges. Wow. You talk about issues of sustainability because we have, in Zimbabwe, we talk about social corporate responsibility. And sometimes we just hear, oh, and I think, you, and you're talking about models that can be replicated. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that we, evidently, we do have models of investment that organizations and companies can, in, can emulate that max consistency. Mm -hmm. If you're going to invest in education, let us know that you are on education. Mm -hmm. If you're going to invest on health in our community, so for sustainability and sustainability, and so that we just don't do, we feel good. All the media, to the sustainability, mm -hmm. planned, you know, medium to long term mm -hmm. investment. That's that's good. Reverend Nyaneti, the International Month of the Girl Child, you are representing your, your organization as a coalition. You are representing a myriad of organizations working on different things for the girl child. What are the key issues that are coming out from organizations, from community? Because organizations are working with community. Um, just before I answer that, mm -hmm. I just want to contribute to her life right. to say they've been supporting education right. for over 10 years. Now, yes, that's good. If my memory serves me. It's right. actually 20 years. Yeah, uh, the I, celebration is the 20th. Yes. Uh, I think it's important to begin to see the models or the, mm. the, the people they have supported mm -hmm. that have succeeded in life. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, these should also be able to talk. Mm. To other children, right, right, and 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 say if it did were you not, know Monica is a beneficiary oh, of her life? Yeah, if if she is, then we need to know that. Yeah, the community <laughs> has to know that she has right. to speak to girls, <laughs> so that they have the hope to know that out there, that mm. people who are prepared to support them That's achieve good. something in life. Mm. But coming back to your question, mm. the barriers to the girl child right. are several. Mm -hmm. One of them is access to birth registration. Mm -hmm. When um, a girl child does not have an identity, mm -hmm. it, it, it becomes a reliability to the state. Mm -hmm. So it's right. important that mm -hmm. they, have, they have access to birth registration, mm -hmm. unlimited access. Right. Um, there are issues of uh, uh, child labor mm -hmm. that are also a barrier to the girl child's ex access to education. Mm -hmm. Apart from attending school, they're expected to do household chores. Mm. Uh, that involve even looking for uh, sources of energy right. for the family, mm. which means walking distances mm. to go and uh, look for food. It becomes a barrier. And even within the home setup, mm -hmm. um, some chores run into the um, late in the night, mm -hmm. which denies them to do homework. Right. Um, so it's important that families recognize that the girl child is as equal as the boy and they yeah. should have, uh, you know, mm. access to studies, access to libraries, mm -hmm. access to um, information even on sexual reproductive health. That's right. Yeah. Which is becoming a challenge at the moment. Mm. Children are becoming sexually active early. It's a fact, researched, mm. documented and we can no longer deny that fact. So access to sexual and reproductive health information for mm. the girl child is central because that's where we get in teen pregnancies, mm -hmm. uh, which then deny them a continuation in terms of education. As we wrap up, uh, uh, um, Reverend, there's 
there's talk from community that, yeah, it's good to have information. Mm. But empowerment, economic empowerment. Mm. Some of these young women are out of school and mm. they are vulnerable because of lack of uh, resources. What mm. would you say to that issue as we wrap up? Yeah, but then w when it comes to the girl child uh, and to children in general, there is the Department of Social Welfare mm -hmm. that carries a mandate to ensure that children are protected. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to access to the education, access to other services, there's also a Minister of Industry, Minister of Women's Affairs. That's where they come in to try and assist those who can no longer continue with education to engage uh, in skills training Thank for you. survival. Right. Thank you so much, Reverend. What would be your, your parting words, your parting shot? Um, the, the government of Zimbabwe has to report mm. to treaty bodies in mm. terms of progress they are making around the girl child. Wow. And one is due this year, mm -hmm. but we have not seen any initiatives. Of Maybe the you report need to program. initiate as a coalition. Thank you very much, Monica. Parting shot. I think my parting words is let's empower the girl child. It's important, it's beneficial to society, and above all, it's also beneficial to the nation right. as we progress in a new dispensation. Wonderful. We had it, uh, Fox, we had it on this uh, episode where we're talking about the girl child. We should never tire. They are our sisters, our mothers, our, our aunties, our they carry our children and they, they are human beings above all. They deserve equality. So it is the time again where I have to read from you guys um, uh, to hear what you're saying. So I'm just going to read from a few people. Uh, so this person says they don't say their name. They just wrote on our WhatsApp platform. They say, what if the girl gives the nude pics? Who will be wrong? Um, the point is the girls should be empowered to not give out their... First of all, I think it was explained that it's, it's actually illegal to picture yourself naked. So the girls are not supposed to commit a crime of recording pornography. And then you, as the boy, you're not supposed to receive those because but it's even worse. So So and then Tapiwa says, wow, I'm enjoying your topic today. In my opinion, I do not condemn nude pics and sex tapes, because I believe every sweetie and good moment has to be recorded. Tapiwa, stealing can be sweet. Killing people for other people can be sweet. Raping can be sweet for another person. They are all crimes. So taking nude pictures, whatever your sweet moment, is a crime. So you should not take nude pictures. And we've also seen that it affects girls negatively. So we should not take pic uh, nude pictures because it's illegal, but also we should not engage um, in putting someone at risk because they will lose opportunities in their life. And then someone says, Unopa called Shoda Kunamai Uri Mumba Man, Iwavaru Vakatinga Foniachu. I think this one is responding to Fari, who was on our program the other day and saying that uh, if a parent asks for my password, um, I'll give them a cold shoulder. I think that um, there's, there are responsibilities and there are also rights. So with every right comes responsibility. Children, if your parents buy you gadgets, it's in your, it's in your best interest and it's also in the best interest of the parent to look out your gadgets. You've got a right to get information through a gadget, but you've got a responsibility to be responsible, to not uh, be vulnerable. So it's the responsibility of your parent and their right to look at your, uh, to look at your tablet and phone once in a while to protect you. Until next time, viewers, stay um, well and let's see each other next week. Bye.